Hey, hi. In the previous section, we have imported and exported the metadata, right? So in the today's section, we will be exporting the Salesforce metadata and this metadata we will be importing into the ping folder in the SP connection. So before doing that, I need to make sure this particular SSO is in on. Okay. So for that, please go to the domain. Okay. In my domain for the authentication configuration, make sure that this service is on mode. Okay. Click on the edit. So it should be on. Okay. If it is there like this, please click on the tick mark and click on the save. And please go back to the single sign on. And please download the metadata. Please download this metadata. It's okay. Let it click on the open over here. So my metadata is been downloaded over here. Now please go to the ping folder. In the ping folder, in the application tab, you need to go to the SP connection. Where SP connection, what it will be doing means it will be connecting with the Salesforce. Salesforce in the sense service provider. So click on it. Click on the create connection. Please click on this. Don't use a template for this connection. Click on the next. And in the connection type, please go with the browser SS4 profile. And the protocol should be the SAML 2.0. Okay. Click on next. And in the connection option, please go with this browser SS4. Click on next. And in this metadata, import metadata, I need to import the metadata which I have exported in the Salesforce. I mean, this metadata has to be imported over here. So click on it and click on next. And in the metadata summary, please click on next. And if you want to change the any connection name over here, please change it. Otherwise, keep it by default. As of now, I'm going with this particular name. So please click on next. And in this browser SSO, please click on the uh, configure browser SSO. Over here, we will be providing the which flows has to be there. So basically, in the SAML basics, I have covered about these two different flows, right? One is IDP initiated flow and SP initiated flow. So we can go with any, any one or we can go with both, okay? As of now, I'm going to use both initiated SS4. So click on next. So please keep the in, uh, minutes for this, for this assertion, okay? As of now, it is default five minutes. As of now, I'm going up with this default one. So please click on next. And in the assertion creation, please go to the configure assertion creation. Over here, I'm going with the standard one. So please click on next. And in the attribute contract, please provide these attributes. So I'm going with first name. Click on add. So basically, we need to enter the names actually. For me now, it's by default, it is showing some of the name suggestions, but whenever we are doing for the first time, we need to enter it. Okay. And please, we should make sure that it is click on add. Okay. And please click on the next. And in the authentication source mapping, please go to the map new adapter instance. Over here, we need to connect, uh, we need to map the adapter. So basically the adap adapter is nothing but an, it is a mechanism to authenticate a user. Okay. Over here, please click on this adapter and please click on the next. And in this mapping method, I'm going for the method, retrieve the additional attributes from multiple data stores using one mapping. Okay. I'm going to use this thing, click on next. And in this attribute source and the user lookup, please click on the add attribute sources okay over here please provide the name as per your requirement i'm i'm going with the default which i have created earlier so it is the suggestions which i'm getting which i've created before also so i'm going got going with the previous one so please click on it and we need to connect the data store into this means we need to map that particular data store so basically the data store is nothing but an, it is an external system where user attributes and other data are stored so basically using this ping filter we can retrieve user attributes from the data store in order to fulfill the contracts and authorization token okay 
next so now click on next now we can see over here, here that it is asking for this base dn so for this base dn basically we need to go to the start button in the windows administrator please go to the adsi edit okay so please go to cn user right click on it click on the properties over here distinguished name please copy this particular name click on okay okay and please go back to the dns and please paste that particular base dn over here it is very important that we should mention the the particular active directory path over here okay and now please go to the below attribute returns from the search over here please select this show all attributes and please provide the attributes names like given name and make sure it is add attribute and next go to the sn sn is nothing but a surname please click on the add attribute next please go with the mail sorry mail okay click on add attribute okay now please click on the next and over here we need to give the filter so please copy this below attribute value okay please paste it over here and before this thing we need to give some name as caps a m a and account name equal to make sure it has to be given in the same format as i have mentioned over here okay with the caps and small letters okay now please click on next please scroll it down and make sure it is click on done okay now please click on next over here i need to map the ldap data store okay please click on this thing and for this i need to map the values the the one which i created in the earlier step given name mail and surname so first for the first name please give it given name and for the last name please give it the surname and for the saml subject please give it the mail okay click on next and please click on next scroll it down and click on done okay now please click on next scroll it down and click on done so till now we are done with the few of the configurations but still we need to do few more okay let's proceed with this thing okay now please click on the next year also okay now in this protocol setting please click on this particular protocol setting okay now click on next over here please mention which binding you want so okay i am want post and read direct binding okay so binding is nothing but an, it is a kind of mechanism how the idp has to send a assertion to the sp okay so please click on this and over here i am going with the required authentication request to be signed when received through the post or redirect binding and always sign assertion as of now i'm going with going with the first one and i'm going to uncheck the second one please click on next and over here please click on the next again okay now please keep checking this summary whenever we are doing the all these setups okay if anything is missing we can click on that particular option and we can change it immediately okay now please click on done okay and please click on next and scroll it down and click on done now please click on the configure the browser ss4 sorry i have already done the, with this thing so please click on done again it is already done actually so please click on next 
and click on the configure the credentials so over here please mention the signing certificate okay click on it click on it click on done okay and click on next in the activation and the summary please scroll it down and please click on save so we are done with the sp connection so in the next section i will be showing you whether this particular sp connection which we have created are successfully done or not so basically this links which we are able to see over is nothing but an idp initiated flow and the below we can see this assertion consumer url is nothing but an sp initiated url okay in next section we will be checking whether this both urls are working or not okay let's meet in the next section thank you guys bye bye